Hey guys, time to get in on the action for the biggest moments in basketball with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projections, place your entry, and win up to 100 times your money. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit of up to $100. Just download the Prize Picks app and use the code GET100. That's code GET100 on Prize Picks for a first deposit match of up to $100. Prize Picks, pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Robin with a great request this morning. Nice one. First one of the day. Blue on black. That is such a sexy song. Every woman I know loves that song. Why is that, do you think? It's, I don't know why. Just a whole thing? It's just a vibe. It's a whole vibe. It's a, it's a mood. Mm-hmm. Mm. Good one. It's a sexy one. Good way to kick it off there. Uh, 619 Blip Morning Show. Uh, Slush every morning shows me... Uh, What's on her ring doorbell? Yes. Usually it's um, some kind of uh, animal or livestock or Yeah, we get a lot of deer or, and turkeys. So you just showed me like a coyote or I can't. I got two big coyotes in our yard yesterday. I have something to show you from somebody's ring doorbell in just a little bit. Ooh. Yeah. I bet you didn't see this in your front yard yesterday. Stick around for that. Justin McKinney's going to be on the show today. So he is that. funny. He's kicking ass, man. Remember when he was in here and he was just starting out? He was like deer in the headlights, right? Now yeah. he's like big star. Yeah, he's a big. I can't believe he remembered us, the little people. <laughs> uh, Dolphins upset the Ravens last night. Dolphins are now three and seven. Uh, Ravens were six and two. Bruins lost to the Oilers. That was a stinker. Celtics have the Bucks tonight. They play again tomorrow. Hey, this is cool. The main Celtics, formerly the main Red Claws. Played their first game tonight at home as the main Celtics. So a historic night. Oh, it is. And they have not played. There's been no professional basketball in Portland since March of 2020. And they didn't play last year. Mm-hmm. Got an abbreviated season in the D-League. And now they're back. First game as the main Celtics. So if you're going to the Expo tonight, uh, this is a big historic night. Yeah, that's cool. Good to have basketball back as the main Celtics. Odell Beckham uh, Jr. OBJ is going to the Rams the Patriots were kind of in play there for a little bit, but he's uh, he's going to the Rams. Pat, Pats have the Browns on Sunday. Pat, uh, Browns have a couple key players with COVID, so I don't know if they're going to be able to play on Sunday. We'll see what happens there. You know how I love to promote uh, my favorite sport, which is competitive eating. Yes, who's, who's competing? We have a, a, a woman from, uh, I think, uh, the Netherlands or something. She's a female competitive eater. She did a dozen donuts. In under four minutes. So what? <laughs> <laughs> and your point is... is and so... Uh, <laughs> good for... I mean, good for her. Three, two, <laughs> one, and go. Oh, my God. Are we going to hear mouth noises? I don't think she's having... Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, <clears throat> that was so good. What was my time? Three minutes forty. I'm pretty proud with that. Wow. There you go. Wow, wow, wow. First you break the four minute mile. Now we break the four minute dozen donut <laughs> for female competitive eating. So what? So <laughs> dude, that she's getting cross town, man. She's trying to get cross town. All these damn one-way streets. It's WBLM. Your air guitaring was on point, I must say. Thank you. It was very good. I'm a little exhausted. <laughs> man, I just go hard for 15 seconds. I'm out of breath. <laughs> All your cardio is in for the That's day. That's it, man. Done my workout. Celeste likes to show me her. Um, Celeste likes to show me her ring doorbell videos. Yes, every day I check my ring doorbell videos here's, from the night before. Here's a door, a deer. Here's a coyote. Here's some turkeys. Yep, it's yep, like, an boy, opossum. It's like, where do you live? Like, Buxton? It's like, no, you're like... <laughs> I'm right minutes, in town, South two, Portland. Two minutes across the bridge, man. So yesterday on a ring doorbell, a uh, lady uh, uh, was pregnant and went into labor and could get as about as far as her front yard. Oh, no. And had the baby on the front yard. And the whole thing was captured on the ring? Yep. The contractions went to five minutes and three minutes and two minutes and one minute in like a matter of about 20 to 30 minutes. And we're like, oh, we got to get in the car. We got to (laughs) go. Got to the car, stood at the car. 
and just said, no, I, I can't get into this car. What? I'm just going to get on the grass and I'm just going to, I'm going to be here. This is going to be my spot. I'm on my hands and knees and little head comes out. And by the time they walked up to me, I had a baby in my arms crying. <laughs> on the ring doorbell. There it is. I just laid back in the grass and just took a nice deep breath. And I was like, oh, Oh, this is going to be on the on the, on the camera. <laughs> I'm going to watch this and we can share this. I joke that it was like, you know, being a cow giving birth in a field. There you go. Pretty much. Pretty much. Except <laughs> you were on your lawn right in front of the neighbors on the ring doorbell. Mommy, what's what's wrong with that lady across the street? Like, <laughs> she's like, wow. UPS guys going by. I mean, why did she wait so late? She's like, and contractions were like 10 minutes and five minutes and one minute and i'm like we better get in the car that's when you go ma'am <laughs> you, don't, you don't wait till they're five one minute apart okay we stayed there for three hours just waiting for <laughs> just right? for a sign <laughs> right 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 so she had it right there well, well i'm glad that she and the baby are healthy so and that's, I, that's good and that's quite a story so that's the standard when you come to me with these ring do i want more action now I'm, i now i see <laughs> now i see why you're so like oh it's another coyote <laughs> <laughs> you let me know when someone give gives- me a live birth and we'll talk about it. Give me a lady giving birth right. on the you know live on the ring and then we'll talk Can about you it. Imagine, good lord, hell yeah! We like the old time rock and roll. Yeah, we do. Anybody got a problem with that? Bob Seger, six forty nine of the old time rock and roll. Uh, here's the list out. Be careful here. Uh, this or if you've said any of these things, you're officially old. Speaking of old time rock and roll, oh. you ready to take this quiz with me? Oh my gosh! You guys, yes, you people out there, ready to take this quiz with me? If you've said any of these things, you're officially old. Number one, it's eight thirty at night. A little late to start a movie. <sighs> That's Mark. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. A little too late. Eight thirty. Yeah, eight thirty on a school night. That's what we call work nights. We call it a school night. Number two. I can't go out for dinner. I have chicken in the fridge that I need to cook before it goes bad. True story. What are you having tonight? We're having chicken. Why? Because if we don't, it's going to go bad. <laughs> this is the last day for the chicken. <laughs> I do this all the time. Referring to people in their early 20s as kids. Oh, yeah, absolutely. She's a good kid. Yeah, absolutely. She's a good kid. Even in, Now even in the 30s. Because I have a 30-year-old. I have a 30-year-old son. Yeah. 31. He's, he's, a, he's a child. I know. Little kids. Uh, number three, uh, number four, why is the music so loud in here? We don't say that around here. No, we don't. That's something I've, no. Uh, alcohol makes me sleepy. I don't say that either. Me neither. <laughs> uh, you're over at the, I'm over at uh, my friends at uh, Eldridge Lumber on Presumpscot, and I say something like, Oh, yeah, that's quality lumber. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's some quality lumber. I know quality lumber now. <laughs> uh, you strap something onto your car and then say... She's not going anywhere. That's right. Am I right? <laughs> that's yes, you're correct. <laughs> that's absolutely correct. Yep, that's not going yep, anywhere. Yep, that's funny. Uh, number eight. Oh, babe, check out these new New Balances. Oh, here's this is one I know I've heard Celeste say. That's a nice box. Keep it. Oh my God, you guys! Do you know what I'm into? Bags. Your bag lady. I, now? If if you know, I take out. Even if I get a takeout bag and it's a good bag, I keep it. You guys, don't get rid of that. We That's went, a good bag. We went to American Eagle last night. My 15 year old needed some black jeans. They give us a bag. Oh, that is such a good bag. We get home. <laughs> Sabelle, can I have the bag? She's like, what? I'm like, that's a good bag. We're keeping they, that bag. My family thinks I'm crazy. And I've got bags yeah. filled with bags. bags. And now boxes in my house. Oh, save that box. We're going to need it for Christmas. For Christmas? Exactly. Yes. Like, we have 5,000 boxes. That's what Mark says. We have thought, let's, We should recycle <laughs> that. We have more. We have a room of boxes. But we never know what size we're going to need and to mail out that. the things. Right. You know, you So we need know. them all. We need all the boxes. We're not. We're, so we did okay on that one. Yeah, I think... Uh, we're not old. We're just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's WBLM. We're going to do news and weather like we usually do, but we have um, this whole cranberry thing. Celeste looking for cranberry sauce, and there's a cranberry shortage. Yeah, the cranberry sauce shortage, and oh my goodness. Right, crazy people, but people are uh, calling in. 
with uh, their cranberry uh, shenanigans. My, my husband told me about the shortage, so he got me on a mission to go hunt it down. I actually was in Walmart. I, I know, don't say it, but I was at Walmart, and I was looking all over the place, and I found some way up on the top shelf. Ooh. So I am 5'1". I'm looking around for anybody to... Where are all the tall people when you want them? Right. I finally started to climb the shelves a little bit. I ended up with four cans. I got home. He was mad. Why didn't you get them all? (laughs) Right. Why didn't you get them all? Because you've got a good heart and you know that now I am going to go try to hunt down those remaining two cans. (laughs) Yes, we just just got a report from the Walmart. There was a riot in aisle seven. (laughs) Uh, everyone's climbing on the top, and it's a, it's quite a scene, ma'am. So, um, well, look, you found it, and it, you didn't have to scale to the top of the thing. You, you know, you, you didn't take all of it. So that's karma. You're gonna it is. Get good karma coming back to you. Yeah, but I couldn't understand why the tippity top shelf is somebody grab them all and throw them up there so that nobody else can have them. That's what they did. So someone <laughs> took some. And then they put them on the top and, and told their friends, hey, go to aisle seven and look up. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> you guys. There's a whole, there's a whole network. A whole I think. conspiracy theory going on about cranberry sauce. Now, which Walmart was this? Was it the one in Scarborough? No, it's in Auburn. In Auburn. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. the one we're getting the police reports from at this very moment. So, um, uh, well, listen, you got your cranberry sauce. You weren't greedy. And you could probably sell those for good money. Yeah, they're going to be on eBay this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the story. Oh, thank That's you amazing. so much. See ya. That's what I heard. I heard there's a like a whole network. It's like two things. It's like, you know, that pineapple in the cart thing? Yeah. It means you're a swinger. <laughs> yes. Right? That's one thing. And then there's another thing. Like if you put cranberry sauce. On the top shelf, that means something too. Means something okay. Else. That's what I heard. I love that her husband sent her out for the mission. Yeah. He's like, oh, there's a cranberry sauce shortage. You must go out. And so she's like, oh, here I go. And then she comes back. She's like, check me out. I got all this cranberry. And he's like, why didn't you take it all? Right. <laughs> it's like, dude, why didn't you go on the mission? Right? <laughs> she understood the mission. All right. I'm glad she we got it done. Glad we did that instead of news and weather because that was so much, much better. Much Captain, what's going on? Dude, who is this? This is Big Dick down here at North Berwick. What's up, Big Excuse Dick? Excuse me, Big I Dick? I need some uh, Black Sabbath, some Sweet Leaf. Oh, dude. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Did you give yourself that nickname? No. Not me. Hey, you want to hear a quick joke? Yeah, I do. What? What's a 1,500-pound gorilla and a soft <laughs> have in common? I don't know. You don't f*** with either one of them. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hey. All right. <laughs> you guys have a great morning. Thanks. WBLM. We're going to do news and weather like we usually do, but we have um, this whole cranberry thing. Celeste looking for cranberry sauce, and there's a cranberry shortage. Yeah, the cranberry sauce shortage, and oh my goodness. Right, crazy people, but people are uh, calling in with uh, their cranberry uh, shenanigans. My, my husband told me about the shortage, so he got me on a mission to go hunt it down. I actually was Walmart, I, I know, don't say it, but I was at Walmart, and I was looking all over the place, and I found some way up on the top shelf. Ooh. So I am 5'1". I'm looking around for anybody to, where are all the tall people when you want them? Right. I finally started to climb the shelves a little bit. I ended up with four cans. I got home. He was mad. Why didn't you get them all? <laughs> right. Why didn't you get them all? Because you've got a good heart, and you know that now I am going to go try to hunt down those remaining two cans. <laughs> yes, we just we just got a report from the Walmart. There was a riot in aisle seven. <laughs> uh, everyone's climbing on the top, and it's a it's quite a scene, ma'am. So, um, well, look, you found it. And you didn't have to scale to the top of the thing. You you know, you you didn't take all of it. So that's karma. You're going to get good good karma coming back to you. Yeah, but I couldn't understand why the tippity top shelf is somebody grab them all and throw them up there so that nobody else can have them. That's what they did. So someone (laughs) took some 
And then they put them on the top and, and told their friends, hey, go to aisle seven and look up. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> you guys. There's a whole there's a whole network. Whole I think. conspiracy theory going on about cranberry sauce. Now, which Walmart was this? Was it the one in Scarborough? No, it's in Auburn. In Auburn. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. the one we're getting the police reports from at this very moment. So, um, uh, well, listen, you got your cranberry sauce. You weren't greedy. And you could probably sell those for good money. They're going to be on eBay this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the story. Oh, thank That's you amazing. so much. See ya. That's what I heard. I heard there's a like a whole network. It's like two things. It's like, you know, that pineapple in the cart thing? Yeah. It means you're a swinger. <laughs> yes. Right? That's one thing. And then there's another thing. Like if you put cranberry sauce. On the top shelf, that means something too. Means something okay. else. That's what I heard. I love that her husband sent her out for the mission. Yeah. He's like, oh, there's a cranberry sauce shortage. You must go out. And so she's like, oh, here I go. And then she comes back. She's like, check me out. I got all this cranberry. He's like, why didn't you take it all? Right. It's like, dude, why didn't you go on the mission? Right? <laughs> she understood the mission. All right. I'm glad she we got it done. Glad we did that instead of news and weather because that was so much, much better. Much more. Justin McKinney's on the line. Is he here? We were all screwed up. Phones are screwed up this morning. Justin's here. He's at Aura tonight. Funny SOB. Funny guy. Great guy. Uh, Justin McKinney, if you need a laugh tonight at Aura. Justin McKinney. And I got to tell you, by the way, dialing in, you know, I keep my landline just for these big, uh, you know, these big opportunities like calling into you guys. <laughs> right. <laughs> and it was busy. The line was busy. So it's not like a cell phone. I've got the landline. So I had to literally like manually dial it. You don't realize how spoiled we've gotten when on a cell phone, you just hit the button. You know what I mean? You just hit the name again. It just calls. Uh, right. Right. You got to redo the whole thing. You gotta re- and redo it, yeah. <laughs> dude. You're killing it. You're absolutely killing it with your. You got a couple of Amazon Prime specials. You did the the thing with Gronk. You are absolutely crushing it, Justin. Well, thank you. Um, it's uh, I'm doing the best I can out there under the circumstances. Well, yeah. yeah. What, is, what is it like touring during COVID? Um, it's well. It's obviously every venue is different. Yeah. Um, so it's definitely been a challenge. It's starting to open up more now. I mean. A year, well, about a year ago it was the worst because it was like places had like, like the music hall in Portsmouth is 900 seats. Right. So I'd go there, they had a 188 cap. So there's going to be 188 people and they couldn't be near each other. Right. They had to be all spread out. So, you know what I mean? So it's like if you, if you walked into a theater that size and there's 188 people and they're all spread out, you'd be like, look, guys, you got to come down front or this show is going to suck. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Right. But with COVID, you can't do that. And then the flip side is, you know, if you have 900 people in a crowd, there's a chance 188 to 200 might not be great laughers. If yeah. those are the ones that are there that night, you're screwed. And they're oh. spread out, you're like, oh, this is going to be a long night. Oh, you know? Man, but you're making people laugh in like the toughest of situations, which is incredible. Uh, and you know, and you're dealing with your own stuff at home. Like I know you got you got a couple kids now, and you're and 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 you're married. Like so, you're dealing with stuff at home, and then you got to go out and make people laugh. How is everything at the McKinney residence during all this crap? Well, it's I mean that's the good thing about going out to make people laugh because uh, my wife is like you know she started remote when COVID hit, and now her company is like staying remote. Yeah. Like, she's like, I'm like, she's like, I, I like, you're staying remote? She's like, she's like, yeah. I'm like, for how long? She's like, forever. <laughs> I'm like, forever? She's like, yeah. She goes, they realize they can save money on office space. I'm like, can I help chip in for office space? <laughs> I'm like, I'll start a GoFundMe page. Right? <laughs> We've been together for 25 years. Right. Like, to all of a sudden be stuck in that lockdown. Like, I think it's kind of like dog years. One COVID year is like seven regular years. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's just really, everything gets amplified. Because usually, because I'm working from home, she's working from home. So we're both working from home. I mean, it's just, it gets so, we will take separate cars to go to the same place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, had to, we had to go to the bank. We had to go to the bank because we had a check, a, a rebate from our insurance. Right. And both of our names are on it. And like, all right, I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there. So I go through the drive through I shoot it through the tube, you know. It's like, oh, Mr. McKinney, your wife needs to be here also. And I'm like, she's in the car behind me. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> oh, You're coming awesome. to the big city tonight, man. It's going to be fun. I can't wait to get uh, play Portland again. I love Aura. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it, yeah. That is great. And then um, – what else you got on tap? Like the the Amazon specials, man. Is that like a cool thing? Like, like when you're when you're feeling down, it's like firing yourself up on Amazon or like. <laughs> well, it's funny. 
you know, I got two specials on Amazon. Uh, the, the most recent one's called Parentally Challenged. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you know, every time I, I, Jeff Bezos messed with the formula, every time someone watches an hour of it, I get like six cents. So if you only watch a half, a half of it, I get three cents. So I actually thought I would leave the TV running on a loop, but I pay more for electricity than actually I get back to Jeff Bezos. So if you, if you all want to watch it at home, please, if, if, if you only watch half, just keep it running until the end. Oh, I can use right. the full six cents right now. Inflation, everything's hitting. Put it on your iPad, your phone. Like McKinney's got like four TVs going with the Amazon oh specials God. in his home at any given time. You know, well, Bezos needs that money so he can go up to space. You know, in that big rocket. And you need that money so you continue to have this wonderful landline. Well, I literally keep it. People say, "Why do you keep the landline?" It's BLM and my mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Dude, we're so proud of you. I remember like you coming in here the first couple times. We were just starting out, and you know, there's a little deer in the headlights. And now look at you, all the swagger and the Amazon specials, and you're hanging out with Gronk, and you're doing the freaking garden. We're so proud of you, man. Well, thank you so much. And I've always appreciated the support over the years and stuff. It means a lot. And it's uh, I just love doing it. And I love working back here. It's, my, it's definitely the best. All right. Aura tonight. Go see Justin. Karen, everybody, Woo-hoo! on a Friday. Hey. How are we doing? We're doing, yeah, there's, you know, there, we're doing great, except we. this whole show has been taken over by the cranberry shortage in Maine, and people are freaking out, and we've <laughs> gone code blue, and no one can find cranberry sauce for Thanksgiving, and it's taken over this whole freaking show this morning, Tom Karen. <laughs> You know what? You know, there's only one way to describe what's going on. You're getting bogged down. Thank you. <laughs> Drive safely. Oh, conc- that was a good dad joke. That concludes Thank our uh, Tom Karen report. The, the, the. Hey, yeah. hey, come uh, to me for the deep analysis. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, our Patriots trying to get four in a row. How about that? Come on, man! I think we should win. The, you know, we, we win this one. But this is the thing. Yeah, yeah, this is a this is a good one. You know, because if you're, I mean, the Browns. You know, if you're Baker Mayfield, I mean, you're number one pick overall. You know, you gotta you gotta win this game if you're the Browns. Okay, so. <laughs> This is a, a legit test. I, I, the Browns aren't great, but it's a legit test for the Pats. And, yeah, you watch that football. Did you, you watch the Dolphins game last night? Unbelievable. You're like, my God, there's some bad football teams out there. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 you know, this thing could just be there for the Pats to sort of keep getting better each week. Matt Jones gets a little better each week. They might end up being a, a legit AFC contender after all that. See, mediocrity got this show this pretty far. So we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> just be a little less mediocre than anyone else, and you'll be okay. That's my key to life. That's the NFL this season, though, TC. Oh, it's so true. You don't have to be great. You just If you don't suck, you're better than most. Just hang in there, Patriots. Just hang in. TC, what are you doing this weekend? What's going on now that baseball's over? And you know, well, actually, we're in Vermont for the weekend. I'm coming in from beautiful Burlington, Vermont. Ooh. And, uh, our, our son got engaged, so we're celebrating the fiancés for the first time. Happened late in the baseball season. We hadn't gotten to see him. Wow. Oh, uh, congratulations. What, is that, what does that feel like when your kids get engaged and getting married? It feels like you're really friggin' old. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Yeah. Guys, there's just no getting around it. You're trying to put on the smile and be the good guy. You're like, my God, this is a kick in the backside. <laughs> but good for you guys. I'm happy. How, so. how old is he? Tw- he's 25. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's old enough to get yeah. engaged. But does yeah, he still feel a like a big... Little- on the early side, but we love them, and she's great, and uh, you know, Sounds... she's my kid, so you know, just that it worked out okay, you know. Okay. Right. Found somebody to put up with this whole situation here, the whole package that comes with being my kid. Uh, good for him. <laughs> sounds, like, say, it sounds like all the things the father of the groom says. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> this is yeah. unbelievable. It's right out of the playbook. Thank you. That's my toast. Thank you for taking him <laughs> off our hands, and uh, good luck. That's awesome, man. Hey, enjoy the moment. Thanks for sharing it with all of us, and uh, we'll check in next week. Hey, don't be mediocre and find, get your cranberries. Yeah, if you find right. any in Vermont, please bring it back. Please bring it back. Uh, I, yeah, nothing. I got maple. Maple everywhere. That's all I got. <laughs> Thanks, TC. Bye, Tom. Bye, you <laughs> we're like now we're smuggling in cranberry sauce from out of state. Right, that's where we're at. Tom Karen's our cranberry sauce mule <laughs> across state lines. Jellied only. I don't want any whole cranberry junk. There's uh, Tom Karen, proudly brought to you by Gritty McDuff's, <laughs> keeping me gritty since 1988. Gritties.com and by our friend, friend uh, by our friends at Gilman Electrical yeah. Supply. Get it at Gilman. Get it at Gilman, son. Get it. Hi. 
great show today. We're still in the throes of uh, the cranberry shortage, and we've had people <laughs> climbing on the the top aisles of the Walmart. Right, and you're not meant to climb on those shelves. Don't put your foot on a shelf to get up to the top shelf. Because you could bring the whole thing down. Right. Have somebody go up there, but somebody knew there was cranberry sauce up at the top. and there. Yeah, but she was only 5'1", so then she was looking for a shopper who was big enough, tall enough to get it for her, but she did. Scaling the aisles. This cranberry shortage. Everyone's all wound up. Hey. Good morning. How are you? I am fine. And you? We're having a great day. Great day. It is. It's very nice. I'm bracing for the weather to come. Yeah. Though. Wind's starting to whip a little bit. We're going to yep. be a quick moving storm, though. How, how can we serve you, fine listener? Well, actually, I had a remark about the cranberry thing. That's uh, cr- that even though there's a shortage, if you can get your hands on raw cranberries... You know the bags of cranberries? Yeah. You can cook it with sugar and a little cornstarch and water until it, the berries pop. Mm-hmm. So sugar to taste, and voila, you have cranberry sauce. That sounds mighty labor-intensive. <laughs> no, not, not, it's really not that bad. <laughs> See, I like the jellied. I like the jellied cranberry sauce. It's like grown-up Jello. I don't like the right. kind with the big chunks of the real cranberries in it. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Right. There's yeah. like so, no cranberries in that cra- in that jelly cranberry sauce. Like this, no, this no. woman is trying to help you. I know with an actual with actual cranberry sauce. But like cran raspberry sauce is so sweet. I put it on ice cream. I mean, come on. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But I have friends who are very proud of their homemade cranberry sauce, and some of them put in, like, orange rind and stuff like that, and it just gets in the way. Right. I just want yeah. the gelatin part. I want, like, fake stu- I want, like, the most e- e- fake stuffing I can find. Exactly. Fake cranberry sauce. I do. Sauce. I like the stovetop stove out of a top box. and the crap out of the jar. Isn't and- it awful? Oh, right. Exactly. But thank you, and yeah. God bless you for making your own. Yeah, well, I mean, the only way to get the jelly is to strain all the good stuff out. You're talking to a woman who is trying to set up a gravy fountain for Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I you am. guys are miles apart right now. I know. I bet you even sew your own clothes. You're that good, <laughs> aren't you? Well, no, but I do hook rugs. Oh, it's unbelievable. Oh, you're so oh, good. Oh, you're an incredible person. Oh. And we're, we're in horrible. I am not worthy. Thank you for being my friend. <laughs> I am your friend. I appreciate you guys. I listen to you every morning. What's your name? Uh, My name is Lori. I'm working at Bath Iron Works. All right. All right, Lori, you're on my Christmas card list. Thanks, Lori. What a doll. Right? Yes. God. Aww. Thanks to Lori today. Thanks for Justin McKinney for being on. He's at Aura tonight. Thanks to Tom Karen for being on. Thanks to a Big Dick from North Berg for checking in. <laughs> I mean, what a show today. And it's not over. We're going to stay on today. Yeah, we but gotta, wow. We, we got to make plans, man. We got to make plans because we got to try out the fountain coming over to your house. We're going to hook that baby up. You know, actually, I'm going to be gone most of the weekend. <laughs> Don't take this personal. But I hate that your desk is next to mine Okay, where are you going? When you peer over the um, cubicle I've considered taking your life North Conway Christmas shopping? No, you're not I, After I, 40 I hours of hearing you, bitch Let me make one thing clear The last thing I want to do is go get a beer I'm in a band with your husband now, you know Oh, God so if you to Monday Don't call and ruin my weekend <laughs> Practice. I'm the drummer in the band. Oh, no, no. To Monday, or politely said, go screw. Listen to this. I'm going to sing it to you. Listen. Okay, I'm listening. F you till Monday. Acapella. F you till Monday. <laughs> F you till Monday. He's literally pointing at me. Literally. I am. I'm pointing I at him. Hit by a bus. <laughs> the Captain and Celeste all morning. Wicked long blocks of BLM rock all day. This podcast is sponsored by Ramp. Are you the decision maker in your company? Consider this. For the first time in decades, there's a better option for a corporate card and spend management platform. 
Meet Ramp, the only corporate card and spend management system designed to help you spend less money so you can make more. Most corporate cards offer points as incentives, but those points amount to less than they're worth in real cash value. Ramp's corporate cards offer you cash back, real money in your pocket. Plus, you control who spends what with each vendor, and Ramp software collects and verifies receipts automatically, which means you'll stop wasteful spending and close your books in hours instead of days. Businesses that use Ramp add up to 5% to their bottom line the first year. If you're a decision maker, adding Ramp could be one of the best decisions you've ever made. And now, get $250 when you join Ramp. Just go to ramp.com slash easy. Ramp.com slash easy. R-A-M-P dot com slash easy. Cards issued by Sutton Bank and Celtic Bank members of DIC terms and conditions apply.